was talking about Jerome, and he said you've been money clutch player. How does that make you feel? It feels good, you know. Uh, the coaches have confidence to uh, call a play and uh, just got to go out there and make a play. Third down, money down. It seems like all the receivers are making plays. Is, is the presence of Sammy and other young receivers that are making plays kind of made you step up a little bit or is it just a natural progression for you? Uh, I think it's just we can play off each other. Like, you know, it, it makes everyone better. You know, a guy go out there and makes a play and picks the rest of the group up. So it's definitely a good thing. When you see guys doing that, does it, do you think to yourself, i got oh, yeah. to catch every ball? I get fired up. You know, <laughs> I get excited. Uh, you know, when uh, Nuke make a play, Sammy make a play, I'm out there running behind him. You know, you, um, Nuke make a good block, I'm, I'm out there blocking for him. So, I mean, just gets the whole group fired up. How much are you any more confident now than you were, say, last year or years past, or is it just kind of the same? Oh, yeah, you? definitely. Um, I guess confidence grows with every every game and um, just uh, learning learning uh, the, the offense that's going on and uh, different um, coverages and everything. And just definitely getting confidence in each game. Tom, what's different about this offense this year? Uh, fast pace, you know, uh, tempo. I, I say the main thing has really changed and uh, just really kind of breaking down the different schemes of the defenses and. Uh, you know, the coaches do a great job in getting us in the right position to make a play. Is it, uh, I mean, do, did you have to wonder at first whether the openings were going to be there for you guys? And then when you see it unfold, is it like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm open again, or, you know, I'm in this position again? Well, the coaches do a great job uh, in getting us prepared throughout the week. Uh, you know, we've been practicing we practice, uh, the different coverages throughout the whole week. so. And uh, in the game, by the time we see it in the game, it's kind of easy. Is it hard to keep your excitement? Here you are, five and zero, number eight in the country now. Is it hard to temper the excitement, or is it uh, not? Not really hard. Uh, you know, um, I'm all, I always tell the guys, you know, stay hungry and uh, stay stay humble. So uh, that's one of the things we gotta keep uh, keep pushing. You know, keep working hard and uh, just get ready for you know, Boston College coming in this weekend. What did you think when you got home the other night at two thirty in the morning? And there's, I, I was excited, you know. The, the, there was a lot of fans out there, and uh, you know, really, it was good to see the support of the fans, and um, just really excited. I mean, this has got to be a lot more fun. I mean, you, I'm sure you know what this place was like last January after you guys were coming off that bowl loss. Oh yeah. Yeah, and and so this has got to be much more fun, I would imagine. Oh, definitely more fun. You know. Uh, like I said, we just gotta go. We ain't really did anything yet. We just gotta stay humble and stay hungry and uh, just prepare for Boston College coming in for homecoming. How do you think? Uh, how do you think Coach Morris will keep you guys humble? He told us some ways that that maybe he might uh, get you guys' attention if, if anybody was dragging. Oh, uh, I think Coach Morris do a great job at keeping us humble. Um, I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna change this week uh, as far as our preparation goes. What is his personality like in practice? How does he keep you grounded? How does he keep you humble? Uh, tell us, you know, we haven't arrived. Keep keep us uh, up tempo. And, uh, you know, just keep us practicing hard. He demands the best out of us. So that's one of the things. What would you say is the biggest improvement in your game this year? Um, probably, uh, I guess, uh, confidence. Confidence go out there and uh, run blocking definitely improve. I mean, Trying to get a lot more cut blocks. So, <laughs> so Jerron, in the locker room, nobody says, okay, we beat last year's national champion, last year's Atlantic Division winner, last year's ACC champion. You know, nobody says, hey, we could accomplish all that. You know, nobody even starts to think about that yet? Not yet. You know, uh, like I say, we, we got to take one game at a time. Uh, you know, guys, definitely, we're excited, you know. But uh, then again, we got a lot of work to do. And uh, we just really got to get ready for uh, – Boston College team that, that beat us last year, so we just got to be prepared for, for every game. You have any friends or family members or or classmates saying saying uh, you know talking about hey you guys are capable of winning all this and do you have to block all that talk out? No, nah, no, I just got a lot of family members looking forward to this game this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you got the family members trained up too, huh? Oh yeah, you got them coached up for this weekend as well. Oh yeah, they excited about homecoming, so. Uh, definitely uh, looking uh, to prepare for a great Boston College team coming in.
Did you catch more balls over the summer? Just in more workouts, or more time spending in workouts? Because you seem to be more sure-handed. You seem to be more of a dependable receiver. Uh, definitely. You know, uh, with uh, the jug machines and um, you know doing the summer workout, summer session, and skills and drills helped out a lot. Um, just throwing and catching with the, the quarterbacks really helped. Are you, are you playing with the, is it the nine positions on this ball? The nine? No, I'm more slot. 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 But uh, I just rotate, you know, rotate outside. I can play the nine, two, or the, the five. So, that's so the what, what's your primary position? What, what's the number? I forget how. Uh, slot. Five. Five? Okay. Yeah. So are, are you doing a lot of this, any of the same kind of stuff that you're doing in the past, like Coach Napier? Or like, how's your, I guess, just your specific... I guess role maybe some of the routes you run is it much yeah. different than what you've done in the past. It's similar to you know last year, of course, with a different offense. Yeah. It's not too much similar, but like some of the stuff you know the bubbles mm -hmm. and uh, you know post corner those similar routes and just a lot more. Uh, this year is more um, uh, the answer for blitz like hot. I'm more like a hot guy whenever they blitz. So I mean, just really just taking the role that I'm giving. Coaches do do a great job putting us in a position to make play. Was it difficult getting, um, you know, getting used to the signaling system and, you know, the guys standing on the side holding up cards, doing whatever they're doing? Was that uh -huh. difficult for? Was that difficult for you guys to get used to? Uh, at first, you know, but like I said, I was able to um, adjust to it during the spring, so I was able to see kind of how it would be in uh, in the game. And the first game was kind of hard to locate the guys and get yeah. used to it, but. I mean, it's not really difficult. Uh, the uh, signals really simplified. It, it doesn't matter that there are so many guys out there or on the sidelines that you have to pay attention to. Or you know, I don't know what the code is, but I mean, it seems like there are a lot of guys doing some signals. I guess it all matters who pay, who you have to pay attention to. Yeah, right? exactly. It's just really key to just um, you know focusing on the main signal caller and uh, just getting the right call. For for the hot reads. I'm not trying to get you like revealing y'all secrets or anything, but is it something like do you and Taj like communicate with each other, or is it part of like what you're looking to at the sideline for the signals or how's it? Could be, um, could be either or. You know, um, a lot of the stuff we already prepared for during practice, so mm -hmm. a lot of stuff we already have uh, kind of answers for, and um, just really like I say, it could be either or. Anything else for Jerome? Thanks, Jerome. Appreciate Thanks, it.